They are preparing us. They are going to create a crisis. Biological attack is imminent. And what is their solution, they say? Give up our rights. Submit to Big Brother. Remember 2002, they wanted to have forced inoculation nationwide for smallpox. If you refuse to be inoculated, uh, you'll be taken and be held, but we'll also forcibly inoculate if we're given the orders at these uh, injection facilities. I mean, Rockefeller study envisions future dictatorship controlled by elite. The hell we're already living in that's just going to continue to intensify until we take our governments back. See, it's got to be soft kill. It can't hit everybody. Kind of like the UN programs worldwide where they only want to help the pregnant women. They come give them shots and they all have miscarriages on the spot. And it's a 1968 yearly report the Rockefeller Foundation acknowledged funding the development of so-called anti-fertility vaccines and the implementation of mass scale. Everybody's a bunch of followers in this country. When are we going to stand up? When are we going to affect change? You need to choose a side. He's been right. You know, the, the famous meme of yours, Alex, all over the Internet all the time. Ha hashtag Alex Jones was right. Uh, you've been right about so many things. You were right about uh, lockdowns. You've been right about mask mandates. You've been right about the vaccine. Uh, you've, you've been at the tip of the spear so that we are, you know, we're kind of just following your lead here. Uh, you created dissident media. And, and so, you know, speaking of dissidents, there's been a lot of dissidents to the whole COVID, you know, pandemic, obviously, as people are starting to wake up. They're starting to see what's going on with these shots. Finally. Finally, after died suddenly, wins an award, by the way, uh, you know, and so we now have been, you know, kind of pressuring Trump, at least on my program and throughout the network, the, the, the narrative has been, hey, you got to stop pushing these shots. These shots are responsible for millions of deaths. You've got to stop it. I can't I can't explain why he continues to do that. But he just came out. Uh, you, your crew has a clip here of President Donald Trump talking about the lockdowns and how he said that he will respond when he retakes the White House. Can you guys roll that clip? The left-wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear-mongering about the new variants that are coming. Gee whiz, you know what else is coming? An election. They want to restart the COVID hysteria so they can justify more lockdowns, more censorship, more illegal drop boxes, more mail-in ballots, and trillions of dollars in payoffs to their political allies heading into the 2024 election. Does that sound familiar? These are bad people. These are sick people we're dealing with. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates. And we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. They rigged the 2020 election, and now they're trying to do the same thing all over again by rigging the most important election in the history of our country, the 2024 election, even if it means trying to bring back COVID. But they will fail because we will not let it happen. When I'm back in the White House, I will use every available authority to cut federal funding to any school, college, airline, or public transportation system that imposes a mask mandate or a vaccine mandate. Thank you very much. Wow. So there's, I mean, uh, there's President Trump saying some pretty strong words. What, 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 what do you think the epiphany was here? He's under attack. He made a lot of mistakes. He said, I didn't know how evil it was. Now I know how it works. You deserve the credit for this and your audience. We said, listen, you're good on everything else, trying to stop World War III, trying to control the border, trying to get jobs back, trying to stop the fentanyl, trying to secure the dollar, take care of the vets, but you keep going along with their BS. Sure, he said we shouldn't have lockdowns. Sure, he said we shouldn't have mandates, but you got to come all the way out against it. But he locked the country and down. He locked the country down, right? I mean, so the buck stops with you. You're the president, so you were lied to by Deborah Burks, the scarf wearer, and Tony Fauci, the mass murderer. You were lied to by the HHS and the NIH. You were lied to by the FDA and the CDC. But the buck stops with you. You're the president of the United States. You made the call to exactly. lock down the country. Exactly. We will forgive you. None of us are perfect if you say you're wrong. This is, I'd say, halfway step towards what she needs to do. This is a big deal. And because we got the whistleblower, and I launched it two weeks ago, and I had no idea that five hours after I announced it, they would do the full rollout. And my source... The first source that I made other calls and confirmed it said, well, we're told middle of September uh, they're going to bring back masks for TSA and then they're going to have a new shot. No one knew that. 
and they still follow the script a week after I said it and said, September 15th, the new shot's ready. So this was just perfect timing. None of it's my credit. People say, oh, Alex, biggest scoop. How'd you know this? I don't have a damn crystal ball, folks. I live this just like Stu does. I'm in here 15 hours a day, and we're on top of it. And so it was a good intel. The orders went out literally the day after I made that announcement. People then realize, oh, my God, it's scripted, so we're ahead of it, and now Trump gets it. He knows it's about election meddling for mail-in ballots again, so finally he's coming all the way over. It's how they want to maintain their control, and so this is a big victory. Trump's not perfect. We're obviously not going to support Gavin Newsom or Joe Biden or you know, uh, Ramaswamy, who you've exposed. Regardless, this is a big seismic moment showing that Trump is making good on what he said to take the gloves off. What do you think? Well, I mean, I think that you're right that, uh, you know, uh, with repentance and apologies and asking for forgiveness, that anybody could be forgiven. I mean, that that's that 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 goes without saying. How long is it before he comes out on these shots and says, you got to stop taking these shots? They're poisoning you. They're killing you with these shots. He should do it immediately. Look, I know Trump well, and I know what really happened. And if he was bad, I'd come out against him. I'm not just hopefully hoping he's a good guy. We know he said, oh, hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin, vitamin C. He was just getting the country going. He knew they were trying to kill his recovery. So they tricked him and said, well, sir, we've got this promising thing. But we can't green light it. Only you can do it. He got tricked into it. He doesn't want to admit he's wrong. But for a pig-headed person like Trump, this is as far as I would expect him. He may go further now. If he came out and said, I got conned by Fauci, I got con you know, con by all of them. I mean, you know, I mean, like you said, they've even had Redfield come out and say, oh, Fauci ran all this and it's gain of function. Even his minions have run for cover. I'm not putting all my, all my cards or all my chips on Trump, but I, I see this as a very big deal. And, and I think they're going to try to assassinate him. I mean, I, I, think I do they too. Are yeah, really, I do really too. scared right now. We talked about that on your program just the other day. Uh, you know, I, I think that they, if they can't imprison him for the rest of his life, then why wouldn't they kill him? They've killed other presidents. They've killed thousands and thousands, probably millions of innocent people, including children. Well, well, well exactly. That's even Tucker Carlson raised that with Trump a week ago. And, and then the media's like, oh, Tucker's crazy. Alex Jones is crazy. Stu Peters is crazy. Oh, they might assassinate a president. Why do they have secret service? No, they do it when an elite is in danger and nothing else is working and Trump isn't backing down. The obvious default is kill him or Biden won't step down. His wife won't step down. So the globalist may kill Biden and claim a white supremacist did it. White supremacist are the number one threat when that's basically made up. It's like a unicorn, leprechaun, you know, Santa Claus. Maybe it exists, maybe it doesn't. The point is, I see them either assassinating Biden or Trump before the election or both of them to put the country into civil war. Who is it that you think wants civil war the most? I mean, you have these multinational Black Rocks and State Streets and people that really... By the way, these are the people ADHD. that fund this Ramalama deep state guy uh, who we've worked really hard to expose, this, this Ramalama dipshit. He's funded, by the way, by all of these people, BlackRock and Vanguard. He took Soros money. He was a World Economic Forum young global leader, uh, a Klaus Schwab sycophant. He's like an AI version of a GOP presidential candidate propped up by the Fox News channel just soaking in and then perfectly regurgitating all of these lines.